Paul Ryan will give the Republican response to the president's address. He is expected to say no to many of the president's new spending requests. Then you will also see the Tea Party response. You mentioned this, Martin, delivered by another House Republican, Michelle Bachman. Her remarks will also be carried on CNN, which sort of gives her equal billing. We'll carry all of that live here on CNN. I don't know about the other networks, but we'll let, we'll let all of those speeches breathe. Uh, what do you think about the, the decision by the Tea Party to go ahead and have their own response? Well, I understand why they would. Who wouldn't want to? I don't understand the decision by CNN to air it. Why are you giving uh, two? Why are you giving airtime to basically two Republican responses? The fact of the matter is, Michelle Bachman is a Republican. There, there is no Tea Party in right. the sense of the Republican Party. <laughs> there could the be. Democrat, there, there could be one of these days. Well, Yes, but at the moment, this is not, there's, there's not, yeah, right. But the fact of the matter is, this is another Republican response. And I just want to remind our viewers, the only place uh, they'll see on television uh, that speech live, Michelle Bachman's Tea Party speech will be right here on CNN. Let's also be honest, look, uh, you know, we're the only ones broadcasting her speech, so therefore validating uh, that response. How do most Republicans feel about the fact that she is even doing this. I think most Republicans actually are, are upset that she's doing it. Uh, I think they're upset with uh, those of us, I guess, now just seeing and covering this for, for even giving it attention. All right, hold on a second, Eric. Let's listen to the Congresswoman. Congresswoman. We're awaiting Michelle Bachman to deliver the Tea Party movement's uh, official response to the President's State of the Union address. The Tea Party movement's official response to the President's State of the Union? The Tea Party's official response? Official according to whom? This is Sal Russo. He's a Republican political consultant based in California. He runs a well-connected, rather high-end Republican political consulting firm called Russo, Marsh, Marsh and Rogers. Remember that thing, Moving America Forward, where really right-wing radio hosts toured the country to talk about how great the Iraq war was going, how the lamestream media wouldn't tell you the good news about how safe and free Iraq was now, thanks for the war? Uh, that was also a Sal Russo gig. Uh, he also perhaps coincidentally took a consulting contract with the Kurdish government in northern Iraq to spin for their interests in the United States. So that was moving America forward, a Republican political consulting gig made to look like a movement. It was a vehicle that this for-profit political consultant used to drum up favorable news coverage. In 2008, Sal Russo decided to start using a literal vehicle to do the same thing. He, he, got, he got a bus that he took on a Stop Obama bus tour. It did tours through key campaign states, not that different from the right-wing radio Iraq is all right tours. It sort of looked like a movement, right? When the Tea Party movement started to gel into something that might be seen as an actual movement, in 2009, Sal Russo renamed his bus tour the Tea Party Express. Just a bus tour, except it had the name of this new bigger thing called the Tea Party. But then trouble in paradise. Dave Weigel worked for the Washington Independent at the time. He did some great reporting on how the actual grassroots Tea Partiers were sort of off put by this bus tour being run out of a Republican political consultant's office when the movement was trying to look all nonpartisan, postpartisan, and outsidery. Those problems got worse for old Sal Russo when in 2009 and 2010, Talking Points Memo did some damning fine tooth combing of Mr. Russo's financial filings. This Sal Russo bus tour express thing was turning into a great way to monetize the whole idea of the Tea Party movement. They were getting a bunch of publicity, which is what Sal Russo was really best at as a political consultant. And they were turning that publicity into cash, into a lot of donations, donations from people who thought they were donating to the Tea Party movement. What they were really giving their money to mostly uh, was old Sal Russo. TPM finding in the FEC filings that even though political action committees are expected to fund political campaigns and candidates, the one that Tea Party Express was part of for a long time mostly just funded Russo and Marsh. Russo Marsh, this Republican consulting firm that set this group up in the first place. And a lot of the money that didn't go directly to Russo Marsh went to other for-profit firms affiliated with Sal Russo. The Tea Party movement is a real thing. A lot of Americans identify with the Tea Party's message or messages or just their image about being dissatisfied with politics as usual and being conservative. Whether you love or loathe the Tea Party, whether you admire them or you laugh at them, the Tea Party is a real thing. But the Tea Party Express? Sort of a scam. It has been ever since a Republican political consulting firm set them up and used them essentially as a funding stream for that firm, even as the rest of the movement try to keep its distance from old school Republican insider operatives like Sal Russo. 
Despite its rather sleazy origins, Tea Party Express did ultimately become a financial success, in large part because of Mr. Russo's patented and highly monetized ability to generate press coverage for the firm's projects that look like grassroots movements. Check this out, for instance. This is from a few weeks ago on CNN's website. This shows the merging, the unsafe at highway speed merging of the CNN Express bus with the Tea Party Express bus. It shows there are two buses coming together. Having two separate buses is actually a step back for CNN. Last spring, the network bragged it was doing an embed, an embed of a reporter and a production team on board the Tea Party Express bus, as if the Tea Party Express was an army. Actually, what the Tea Party Express is, is a poli po political action committee. It's run out of a Republican political consultancy. It is not the Tea Party movement, it is a fundraising gig. And after a long time of doing very well for Sal Russo and his firm, the group started funding candidates in last year's elections. It is a political action committee. It raises money and funds candidates. After the Tucson shootings even, Tea Party Express sent out an email trying to raise money for itself by calling the alleged shooter in the case a liberal. I don't know why, I don't pretend to know why, but last year the news network CNN decided they wanted to not just cover the Tea Party Express as a political operation, they wanted to partner as a news organization with the Tea Party Express. The network announced in December they would jointly sponsor a presidential debate with Mr. Russo's group. Then last night CNN took a remarkable further step. As part of their coverage of the President's State of the Union address, CNN anointed a Tea Party Express webcast as the nation's official Tea Party response to the State of the Union. We're awaiting Michelle Bachman to deliver the Tea Party movement's official response to the President's State of the Union address. Stand by. CNN not only anointed their partner in this upcoming debate to be the official leadership of the Tea Party movement, they elevated what they deemed the official Tea Party response to the State of the Union to be the political equivalent, the political equal to the Republican Party. Stay with CNN for complete live coverage, including the response from Republican Congressman Paul Ryan and then the other response from Congresswoman, Republican Congresswoman Michelle Bachman representing the Tea Party movement. The other response. Whenever there is a generic news event in this country, something that causes a lot of people who don't usually watch the news to turn on the news, CNN gets a lot of viewers. Hey, what's going on? Turn on CNN. But for their coverage of the State of the Union address this year, CNN did not present the news. They presented an alternate reality of their own making, one in which their debate partner officially speaks for the Tea Party, and the Tea Party is a co-equal third party of equal stature to the Democrats and the Republicans. And CNN has a competitive and potentially financial interest in selling you that alternate reality as if it is news. It's too bad.